So you want to get better at running around your backhand to hit your forehand? Well, there is a good way of going about it first. But before we get into it here, I want to say a quick thank you to Winston Du for letting me use his video. Check out his channel for some awesome, great tennis content, and I'll post a link to his channel in the description area. And I want you to take a look at Karu here and what he does when he runs around his backhand to hit a forehand. Great point by both Karu and Govin here. And so when Karu decides to run around his backhand to hit a forehand, I think it was one of those rare occasions when he did it because I think he prefers his backhand versus his forehand. And I think his backhand is better than his forehand. But regardless of which wing you think is better, a lot of players will still run around their backhand to hit a forehand simply because the forehand offers more maneuverability, more versatility, more range of motion. It's just a better shot to do in many situations. So a lot of players will do this and you should have this. And I mentioned this in another video where the most effective tennis tactic in the modern game today is just running around your backhand to hit a forehand. So you want to really get good at this. What should you be doing first? What should you practice first? Obviously, the footwork is very important, right? You want to have good footwork to run around your backhand to hit a forehand. But I think before that, you need to have good recognition skills. And so when Karu hits this backhand here, notice that Govin is about to slice it. And I believe you to, in order to get really good at this, you should be able to run around your backhand to hit a forehand against incoming slice balls. Right? You could actually make the decision now to run around your backhand at a forehand against this slice because you already know what the slice technique is. It's just basically a high to low motion. He puts his racket up high and he's about to slice this ball, right? So Karut doesn't make this decision quite yet, but when Govin hits this slice before it even clears the net, Karu has already decided I'm going to run around this. It's just a great ball to run around because it just goes slow. You have a lot of time to run around and he has to cover a lot of ground. He has to go all the way to the doubles alley here. And so it's going slow when it bounces is slow and now he can really rip this forehand inside out if he chooses to. So to get really good at this, I think first you got to start recognizing the ball, recognize good balls to run around against, right? Those slice balls are always great to run around against. And once you do that more and more, it, it'll become more and more automatic. And then, yes, once you start seeing flat balls or topspin balls from their backhand side or even forehand balls to your backhand, you could start running around it a little bit more. But before you get to that advanced level of running around your backhand, start doing runarounds against incoming slices and I think you'll get really good at this tactic. If you enjoyed this video, kindly do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.